Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Friday, January 10th, 2019. Um, we are home, obviously, as you see. <laughs> uh, we just got back today. Obviously, no videos the last couple days. Uh, where we were at in Georgia, it had good Wi Fi if you were just surfing the net to play, but to try to upload a video, it just wasn't happening. So uh, we ended up not uploading a video there. Oh, Maxie, hey baby boy. Going in. Of course, now my phone's gonna ring. Let me see who that is. That's mom, I'll call her back later. Alright, he's not doing it. Alright, anyway. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> obviously, we are home. It is actually in the 40s today here at home. And I'm gonna kick this around. Wasn't sure what we were gonna come back home to as far as weather wise. But uh, it's not bad. Not bad at all. So, first of all, I want to remind you guys, um, I will be back live streaming tonight. I did not, obviously, live stream Wednesday. We were not able to do it uh, where we were at. So, I just, uh, people have been asking, what's going on? Where have you been? We're fine. Everybody's fine. Uh, we just weren't able to, you know, do those things where we were at. But, uh, so I will be live streaming tonight. And uh, we're going to be talking about options Okay, so yes, I see you. Hello. I know I'm glad to be home too. Are you glad we're home? Yeah, he's a good boy Man, He's a good boy He's a good baby. Mm -hmm. I know you are a good boy So anyway, um I know, Yes, buddy. Hello. I know I miss you too. All right, come on down down down. Let me do my video <laughs> Think the cat missed me? So anyway, uh, we're gonna be talking about options tonight and you'll have to tune in to see what that's all about. Uh, it's something I've been talking about a little bit with you guys, and we're going to discuss that tonight. Uh, I have been networking, obviously, when I was on the road, and uh, you know, talking with some different people and putting some plans in place, and also looking for something which uh, I have found. And so I, uh, you know, we're, we will talk about all those things tonight. But it is good to be home. Uh, we ended up having a freaking seriously long drive uh, we when we left Georgia we drove all the way from Georgia to Pennsylvania and it was like a 12-hour drive but uh, we ended up doing it uh, straight through I, st I know I know I know I know a good boy um, took me 16 hours because I stopped and actually took a three-hour nap at a rest area ow, 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 oh stop stop um, <laughs> So uh, that was uh, that was a long day. So we uh, stayed in Pennsylvania last night, and then we came home today. So, but uh, very good trip, uh, very productive, very interesting. Um, you know, like oh, I know, buddy, stop now, please. I, I know the cat misses me, but it's like he's got to stop a second. But anyway, I'm gonna just keep walking because otherwise he'll just come and get me. So we are home. Uh, like I said, very, very good trip. Had good weather for the trip. Actually, this morning was the worst, worst weather we ran into. Probably the first hour and 20 minutes of our ride today on the way home, we ran into rain. But other than that, it just, the, the weather was fantastic. Uh, the weather in the south was really, really nice. And uh, we had the one day, I mean, it got down to like 25 overnight. And then it was 60 degrees the next day. So uh, just a really, it was a nice trip. It was nice to get away. But it's always nice at the end of a trip to get back home. And uh, Heather will be having to be back at the college on uh, uh, Monday. She starts back to school for her next semester, which I cannot believe the time has gone that fast. As you can see, the chickies are all doing okay. Uh, I'm going to have to... Uh, check things out with them but they look pretty good they look healthy so and here he comes see i told you would follow me if i stopped what's going on i know i missed you too buddy you're a good boy it's nice that you're nice to be home i know yes they are so used to us being here all the time that uh with not being here they didn't like it so much but uh so anyway we are back like i said uh it's been like i said it was a very good trip very long, lots of driving. Uh, Heather said to me, she goes, you know, the next time when we go, 
if we could just like go to one place and stay there for a few days, she goes, that'd be awesome. <laughs> and I said, I get it, I understand. But uh, I wanted to stop and talk with different people, which I did. And again, it's about networking and connecting and also checking out some other plans and stuff like that. And uh, that's, uh, you know, like I said, so tonight for sure, please join us for the live stream. I think it's going to be really, really good. I think you guys are going to like it. So I wanted to really, I was, so I saw the whole events unfold, and I want to talk about it really quickly with the Iran situation. And we took out their general, and then, you know, there was, they're going to retaliate. You know, they're going to get their revenge and stuff like that. So we're going to talk about that for a second because I thought it was quite, in my opinion, the way they did it was quite amusing, okay? So they want to get revenge, but they don't want to piss off the U.S., right? So they might as well have just called the White House themselves because they called the Iraqis and told them that they were going to be doing this missile strike. So obviously the Iraqis told the Americans, giving them plenty of time to get the troops out of the area which they were going to strike and into uh, hardened bunkers and safety so there was no American casualties. Um, so they save face, right? Iran saves face and looks like, you know, yes, we, we have struck back at the evil America, right? But they don't do it in a way that you're going to piss America off enough that we're going to continue and, and put a whoop on them. I mean, you know, it's like I, I, I laugh. If you look at the numbers, okay, and everybody's like, oh, well, you know, Iran, they're not, they're not like Iraq and blah, 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 and all this type of stuff. Listen, you're talking about a little small country, realistically, that militarily cannot even begin to keep up with us. Uh, at all in any way shape or form now in my opinion is the US still itching to get in there and take over and and get a conflict going with Iran I believe that they are and I've talked about that uh, but you know everybody I had some people saying to me oh you better cut your trip short and head home and you know what whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen as far as in the world and stuff like that you still have to live your life you cannot live in fear you cannot live uh, with that panicked attitude, like everything that's going to happen, it's, oh my God, it's the end of the world as we know it. Um, like I say, again, things are going to happen. It's part of life. It is what it is. So, um, you know, so I, you know, continued on with my vacation and we did what we did, which was, which was nice. And like I said, it was nice to get away. Um, it is nice to be home. Somebody's coming down here, I think. I don't know what that was. But anyway, um, so it's nice to be home. We're home. And uh, so we're unwinding a little bit. Uh, like I said, I will be doing the live stream tonight. But this weather for January, i got to talk about that really quickly. Like I said, it's uh, going up into the 40s. Like it's right now, it's about 42. I think they said it's going to be 44 today. Uh, chance of rain, a little bit windy. But uh, the next couple days are going to be almost 50 degrees. So just really crazy, weird weather for January here in New York. And I'll tell you what, I'll take it every day of the week because every nice day that we get is one day closer to spring. And uh, this is not the norm for January, I can tell you that. So, uh, you know, that, uh, there's that. But um, So anyway, that's what's going on. Uh, you know, like I said, it's, it's good to be home. Uh, there's a lot of other stuff. We're going to be. I'm going to be doing some videos and talking about different topics, obviously, in the next few days, uh, and get things rolling again. Get get back to normal. Uh, try to get some things done around here. So actually, I haven't even been inside here. So let's let's take a look inside the greenhouse really quickly while I have you guys with me, and we'll see what it looks like on the inside of here. Um, looks fine. No leakage, no nothing, no torn, no plastic off. Uh, the spot over, oh, it's still, look at that, see? Now that spot, I thought I hit that. Huh. You can see, I'm going to have to get out there and and hit that again. Let's see what's going on there, but I'll I'll get that, guys. I will. But because uh, yeah, you can see, okay, on the outside here, you can see that piece of plastic out there that's going over the top, and that one piece is coming off there a little bit. So I just got to hit low. You can see right there where it's kind of 
So I'm going to have to hit right there. Everybody out there. Um, so I'm going to have to hit right there. But anyway, I'll, I'll get to that. I'll do that. But, you know, other than that, it looks fine in here. Looks fine. So uh, there's going to be work going on inside of here. I'm going to tell you that. I have a lot of plans that I want to do. I want to start getting things set up in here. I want to get that set up. Um, not to do it right now, but, you know, to get that squared away for down the road when we really get going with stuff here in the spring. So that's where we're at. Um, that you know. So like I said, we are home. Uh, good trip, successful trip, safe trip, which was good. Uh, did about, I think it did like 2,600 miles on this trip. So it was a lot of driving, <laughs> a lot of driving. And no, Heather did not do any of the driving. Uh, she's only driven a car a couple times, has no confidence in it yet, and I would not put her on a highway out in middle America and expect her to try to drive. So no, we did not do that with her. So I did all the driving, but it was good. We had a good time and uh, you know, it was uh, it was a nice time to spend with my daughter and get away. But anyway, so I'm gonna jump off of here. So again, please join me tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the live stream. We will be talking about options, okay? So you're gonna be curious, I hope, and say, what is he talking about? Let's, we'll, we'll get into that tonight. And I think you'll enjoy the chat. Uh, I think it's going to be interesting, okay? So anyway, um, guys, remember, we are all in this together. That's important to remember. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. Uh, also remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to do, whatever you are trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that can stop you from getting there is you. Nobody else can stop you, okay? So stay positive, stay away from that negativity, and you will be fine. Uh, and that's it, all right? I will see you all tonight. I hope everybody's doing well. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.